What's up everyone? Welcome back and thank you for stopping in. Today we have an overview to do for you guys. Before we hop into that, if you are new to the channel and you love EDC gear, knife gear, or you just want to know more, hit the subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you. We also cover a little bit of survival and preparedness type things. Now that warmer weather is upon us, we will be going out and doing some more hands-on things and testing. It will be quite a bit of fun here over the next couple of months. And if you would, give the video a thumbs up before you head out and leave a comment down below. That really helps get the video going. It helps the channel out and I really appreciate it. Plus I love chatting with you guys down in the comments, even though I'm not able to quite get to them as fast as I would like, I will someday get back to you. Uh, if I have not interacted with the comment, it's because I have not seen it yet, uh, but I will in time answer everyone, I promise on that. Uh, we are going to be doing a Savivi Sokoki overview today. I've already redone this video once. Uh, I went off on a nine minute tangent. I will save that for another video. I was pretty upset because it was a, a really good tangent and I think it should be spoken, but I'm not going to do that in an overview video of a knife. I will save that for another day. But I've been carrying this a lot. I've been messing with it a lot, examining it, and trying to find things I don't like about it. And there's absolutely nothing that I can complain about with this knife at this price point. There's one thing that I would prefer, but it doesn't have to be so. Uh, just a little bit more access to the liner there. It's pretty good, but it could be better. Uh, if your argument is the liner will show, well, it already does because it is chamfered a little bit. And I'm just saying just even like a 30 second more or so, just to provide a little bit more access there. I don't think it would change anything of the knife to just bring it down just a smidge more. Uh, it, it probably wouldn't even be noticeable to 90% of everyone, but that's just my, my main nitpick. And that is the smallest of the small, uh, you're getting a good designer in Ray Laconico. You have a great blade shape. You have great steel, which is 14 C 28 N. You have this nice drop point blade. It is coated, uh, hate or love coating. Uh, I like both uncoated and coated. I like stone washes as well. And then some of the other finishes that are out there I like as well. But I, I like the coating in the sense that I don't have to worry nearly at all anymore about a steel having issues. Uh, there was an ant on the table it looked like or something. Uh, now I don't remember where I was. Oh, the coatings. Uh, the coatings are getting so, so, so good nowadays. Uh, even your cheaper level coatings are holding up phenomenal uh, for example I have literally done some I just did a review of this it is out now I have literally done some dumb dumb things with this knife ran it along things that now you can see some some markings in the finish there at the front of the knife but there is literally no damage to that coating whatsoever and i'm sure there are way way better coatings out there that are used uh than that is on that ruffian that's just a budget knife uh 
with, uh, I don't know what coding that is, and I don't know what coding this is. I don't know if that's, it almost reminds me of Kaiser's Blackwash, in a sense. Uh, not quite, not near as good, and not, it's almost like a DLC'd finish, but I'm not 100% sure. It does look good though. I do I do like it. Uh, and it's a very useful blade shape. Uh, it's very, very spear pointy. Almost perfect. Yeah, it's it's a drop point, but it is also a spear point. It's it's very well done. You, Ray Laconico knows what he's doing. The thumb studs are in a great spot. The front flipper is designed to perfection. It does not matter which way you want to use that front flipper. If you want to use it like a standard front flipper, if you want to go over the top with your pointer finger there, uh, if you want to do the rollover like that, it does not matter. It is so, so easy. Uh, this would be a knife I highly recommend someone who either A, is having trouble front flipping certain knives, or B, has never front flipped a knife before and wants to try front flipping. One of the best designs of a front flipper that I've had, uh, budget or not, it works very, very well. I really like it. Uh, certain front flipping knives designers should take some notes on how this one is done just the way it's angled the jimping's just right uh very well done i i really like it the thumb studs are comfortable standard pi uh, pivot from savivi but this one is all blacked out along with the hardware i really really like that pivot uh, and how the hardware is all coated. I do not mind the C there. There is nothing else on the face of that blade, which I really, really like. Uh, and then you just have Ray Laconico's name there. And then I think, there it is, hidden amongst the scales is the blade steel, 14C28N. Got my G-Ball Vision bracelet on from my daughter and fiance uh it has different micarta than savivi typically uses it's almost like a worn micarta and i i like it uh it looks it's a lot different than your standard regular micarta the good micarta i don't have anything next to me somehow some way that doesn't have the micarta I'm referring to, uh, but it's different. And usually I don't like different in that sense. Like I really like the premium stuff, but it goes back to the thing I was ranting about that I deleted is I like, I don't like change, but I like change. Uh, when things are good, I like them good but there's other good things out there so switching something that's good to something else that's good is just fine uh now do i like this more than like the mad tanto or the t1 micarta or what's on my maverick that kind of micarta i probably like that better but i do really like this and i have so much of that other micarta that a change is nice, uh, especially when it's well done. So, and I know there's another model, I think, with more of a, is it like a brown or, I forget what color micarta is, like a natural looking or like a brown micarta. But uh, that one looks good as well. You have deep carry pocket clip there that is stainless steel. I do believe is steel i don't think it is titanium yeah it is definitely steel there you can see uh 
EDC Specialties. This is the grappling tool. In case you're wondering, I use it quite a bit and I drop shit. But uh, there are your grappling hooks. It's a it's a cool little gadget. Uh, have I ever used it for the grappling hook? No, but uh, someday I might. And I've used it for a magnet before, uh, twice actually. Once when a bolt fell down in underneath the hood of my truck. And then another time to get a nut that my son threw down the drain of our bathroom sink. So it has come in handy. You can attach a lanyard to it and lower it as far as you need. Uh, anyway, excellent materials. The price is good on these. Uh, I'm not sure what the price is right now because I've seen it change a couple times. Uh, I think the retail, it's under 70. I think, I want to say it's 60 or 70 or right amongst there which is a great price if you can get it at that or lower definitely a recommendable knife it looks very well done it is very well done you have a backspacer there that is the same material as your handle scales there the the uh, ergos are buttery buttery good i mean just perfect. Uh, you can tell Ray's designed a few knives before. It's just very, very comfortable. You can choke up all the way behind the blade there. It's, you just really have, it's not a choil and it's not real. It's kind of like a 50 50, but it's not. He designed it that way, I think. So you could choke all the way up there, but it's not technically like a 50 50 choil but it, it works just like one and i really like it i can almost get my thumb all the way up there i can get my pointer finger pretty much to the tip there which is perfect for me uh i've used this quite a bit over the last week or so and it has done very well uh it's the first Civivi, I think, that I've gotten in quite a while. I'm not going to get into it, but uh, I'm not going to be jumping back into buying every Civivi that comes out like I used to. But I will kind of pick and choose which ones I do get. I will get some, uh, and I am glad that I got this one. It is a great design. It's well made. Uh, very, very hard to beat. We can go ahead and do a comparison quick. There is the Hogue Deca, the Warrencliffe version from SMKW. There is your Paramilitary 2, 20CV Knife Joy exclusive. Here is the O Knife Freeze 2. That is a great little budget flipper there made by Kaiser. This is the Max Ace. What the hell is it? Oh, the Black Mirror. That's right. It's been a long day. The Black Mirror from Max Ace. Another great knife at a great price. Using M390 titanium carbon fiber absolutely love that knife here is the cjrb ruffian and here is the hogue deca in magna cut so it is your average size great size uh, great edc size Great work knife so far, so good. Easy to maintain. That coated blade, the micarta, make work atmospheres pretty good. 3.55 ounces. 
so it is not heavy at all. We'll go ahead and blade stock is, I'm going to guess, supposed to be at like 115. I don't know if, yeah, I bet it's like 115. And it's coming down to like 15. So that's pretty good. Pretty slicey little beast, I will say. Uh, I got this handy. It came, <clears throat> it came with a pretty good edge. Uh, I've been using it pretty good, and I think I dragged it through something I shouldn't have. I stabbed into some, some compound for flooring and dragged it along that patch material for flooring. It seems to be just fine. So, that is your good 14C 28N, just laughing. Uh, but all in all, guys, I'm going to keep carrying this. This is one of the knives I've picked to continue carrying and using and going to be doing a short-term review. I've picked and chosen, I've picked and chosen a couple of knives uh, at different periods over the last week or two. Some I've said, some I haven't, but that I'm going to be keeping with me to do a short-term review on them uh, over the next couple of weeks, depending on the knife. This one won't be for a little while yet, but there are some. It's I'm basically going to be just doing a rotate, you know, Every week I'll pick one knife basically that way they basically eventually start to I'll end one pick up a new one and that sort of thing uh, so I'm trying to come up with different things do things in different ways uh, so that way things kind of stay fresh but uh, if you enjoyed the overview Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and let me know what you think of this guy. Otherwise, guys, I love y'all. Have a good night, have a safe night, and I will catch you guys later.